One one straight out departure. I guess get this performance in quest three with an IFM and uh, RTX 3070 or 3070 Ti or uh, higher. So these are my PC specs. First, we download the Quest software from Oculus. I already have it, so canceling it. And then we need a OpenXR toolkit. Kit and uh, we download it from the GitHub pages. And quick start and uh, download the latest. And lastly, we need the uh, Oculus Tray tool. So from uh, this website will be downloading the latest version so after the download complete uh, just install the oculus uh, setup and then open xr and then oculus state tool it's quite straightforward once you install everything open up uh, connect your headset and open up the oculus app and go to devices and check your uh, headset is showing there and once it is showing i change the audio to use windows settings and then uh, the mic also to the windows settings so that i don't want to overload the usb cable and for the graphic preferences uh, this is the maximum i was able to get properly without uh, crashing so let's now do the USB test uh, to see the maximum speed we are getting. So let me click on test connection. So it will take a couple of seconds. So here I'm getting around 2.5 gigabits per second, so which is fine for this cable. So and then uh, you go to settings and general and make sure that uh, OpenXR runtime is set as active. So here set Oculus as active is already there. So I left it as is. Now open up uh, OpenXR toolkit and uh, the main four uh, settings you need to change is the on-screen menu hotkeys. So here I have set uh, WSD keys. And these are used for the on screen menu basically which we use to manipulate the resolution and uh, everything else so this modifier is uh, the key that you have to keep holding to change the menu settings and all so i set it as alt so that uh, it won't interfere with the simulator okay you can close this uh, open xr toolkit it doesn't need to be running in the background now we will open up the oculus tray tool and in here i have set the i have changed two settings one is asw mode uh, to off and uh, another one is fov multiplayer uh, the best i can get is 0 0.70 and 0 0.70 without uh, blocking too much of the screen but also getting the good uh, quality rest of everything i left as is i did not do anything so minimized it but th this has to be running in the background to do its job then another thing we have to do is go to oculus program files oculus support and then oculus diagnostics and open up the oculus debug tool in there you you have to change the encode bitrate to 940 which is the best i can get so directly you won't be able to enter it so you open up some notepad or some text you type it there and then you copy paste it here so i just copied here and pasted here that's it for the oculus debug tool you can close everything now we'll change the nvidia control panel settings 
so on from the tray you go to nvidia settings control panel and then uh, go to manage 3d settings and then program settings and select the flight simulator and here i have changed the anti-aliasing mode to override and then setting to 8x power management maximum performance vertical sync off and virtual reality pre-rendered frames to one another setting is that uh, i set the frame rate to 45 frames per second which is the half of the refresh rate of the quest 3 so that's it once uh, another thing is once everything is set up you just uh, go back to oculus tray tool and restart go to service and startup and restart the oculus service so that uh, the cache and everything will be cleared and uh, your headset will disconnect and reconnect that's it then you go to headset select rift select the desktop monitor and you'll get your desktop on your uh, headset and then go to steam and launch the flight simulator let it load If this loading time bothers you, just get an NVMe SSD. Okay, so once we are in the sim, we go to options, I'll show you my settings, general options and I'm using DirectX 12 for this. And in the VR, I'm using TA and render scaling to 100, it shows 100, but it's not actually 100. So other settings are this. Okay, so we'll go back. World map. Here we have to go into VR. So by basically clicking the Shift plus Tab. Key. So now your sim is now running in VR. Now we can go to our Oculus uh, Open XR toolkit. And here is the. Here are my settings which I'm using. So here I'm using 76% of the resolution and sharpness to 40% and rest everything you can simply copy it. And in the appearance also I changed it uh, to my liking. Rest everything I just left it as it is. Okay, so I'm using that uh, keys which we assigned the uh, ASW key with the alt uh, modifier to change around the settings go to some airport mm, click on fly with this setting you should not be having any stutters or any a watery effects or anything like that uh, generally the case with the quest 3 headset i mean vr headsets in general so with this settings i was able to get this quality and performance together with frame rates hovering around 40 to 45 which is pretty fine and in the headset it doesn't actually feel like 40 frames but it feels very smooth it's like uh, the, this video is directly recorded uh, from the Quest 3 headset, so you can understand the smoothness from here. So far so good. Okay, so hope you like the video. If you like it, just share it with the, the VR guys and uh, hope they will get uh, the best out of them. Okay, thank you guys. If you need anything just uh, comment it, I'll try to help as best as I can.